Hey viewers, now I got a snap-on wrench here. I bought this at a flea market. It's a uh, snap-on F720. It was uh, made in the USA. And as you can see, it's a, a little bit beat up here. And so, I uh, bought a repair kit. So I'm going to go ahead and install the repair kit and show you how this goes in. I'll start off by removing these uh, two small screws here. They're flathead screws. So I have a small flathead screwdriver. Like that. And set those aside. And now I can go ahead and lift this up and this little plate comes off. And then there's the, the main little ratchet part there. And then there's a little pawl here, and then there's a little bearing and a spring in here. So I'm going to have to remove, um, there's a pin going through the lever, going in into the uh, pawl, and it's uh, kind of um, peened in there. So I'm going to have to remove this with a punch. Okay, so I have the wrench here. There's the lever. I'm going to set this down between the jaws of the vise here. I have a small pin punch. Set this on here like this and then carefully just tap this down with a hammer and knock out the lever there. Okay, you want to be a little careful as you remove the uh, the paw there because there's a little spring and a ball bearing that fits behind there and it's spring loaded and um, it'll fly out there. But then again, um, we're going to be replacing this whole thing with the kit so if you lose it, Eh, it's not too big of a deal. And then I'll also go ahead and remove this little spring out from in there, like that. Now the next thing I want to do is uh, remove this little nameplate here, and then there's a little bushing that fits back in there, and so I'm, that's pressed in, so I'm going to knock that out. So what I have is a small socket, it's a 13 millimeter, but it's basically just a little bit smaller than the nameplate here. So I'm going to set that on there. And then I have like a little wooden mallet, so I'll go ahead and just tap this down. Like that. And so there's the nameplate and the bushing out. Now before I put this thing all back together, I'm going to go ahead and clean out all the old grease and oil and everything off the handle here and get it all nice and clean. Okay, I've got the wrench all cleaned up. And I, I washed it with like uh, degreaser and some uh, dish soap and used some compressed air to blow like out the little spring hole there to make sure there's no water or anything left in there. And so now I'm ready to start putting this thing back together. There's a new little nameplate and that'll go in there. And on the back of the nameplate there's a little red arrow. And so when you set this inside here, that little red arrow is going to be facing up. So set that right in there like that. Then there's the little bushing here, and it's got like little uh, ridges along the edge there, and it's flat on one side, and it's got like a little uh, uh, lip on the other side. The lip goes down. So again, make sure you got the nameplate in there straight. You'll get one shot at this. And then go ahead and set the bushing in uh, with the lip part facing down. You want the flat side facing up. And that'll set right inside that little nameplate there. And now what I'm going to use, I, I need to press this in. So I have like a socket here. This is a 16 millimeter socket. Um, and this is going to set in here like this, right on top of the bushing. And then I'm going to set this into a vise here and tighten this down to press that bushing in. And so I got the bushing all pressed in there like that. Now the repair kit came with a uh, like a little tube of super lube and you can buy the same uh, stuff like at Harbor Freight or some other places called Super Lube, like a synthetic grease. But it came with like a little tube here. And so 
Before I start putting all the parts in, I want to kind of uh, spread some of the lube around inside there. So, just going to squirt a little bit in here. And put a thin layer kind of all around the sides. And then down on the flats at the bottom there. Now instead of a spring and a ball bearing, the repair kit came with a spring and then like a little type of, a, a, so it sort of looks like a little bullet head that fits down on the end of the spring there. And so that's going to fit down into this little hole down in here. So I'll just go ahead and slide that down into there like that. And now there's the little pawl part here. I want to go ahead and put some uh, grease around the edges of this here, just on the teeth and on the side where the uh, ball bearings are going to be there, or the little, uh, little thing, and then get some down on the bottom as well and on the top, all around the edges there. And now there's a little opening here, that's kind of a square part, that's where the uh, lever is going to fit in. And then this little uh, pointy part here, that's going to go against the ball bearing, or the little uh, spring-loaded uh, bullet thing there. Now I've got a neat little tool here that came from Snap-on, it's like a little spring metal thing that I can use to push in the spring-loaded part, so as I slide in, the uh, the Paul. Let me see here. Da, 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 da. So push that in and hold that in as I slide in the Paul. And then you can pull this part out here like this. Okay, now there's the the lever here and then there's a little pin. So I'll slide the pin down through the lever like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert this down on this side here while holding this in there. And then you want to test it, flip it back and forth and make sure that you have it positioned correctly like that. Good. Now what I need to do is uh, paint the pin. So I have a little ball paint hammer here and I'm just going to tap the uh, pin so that I spread this uh, edge out wider and so just Tap it in. I got like a little anvil on my vise here. Tap that in. Okay, now that I have flattened out, and I'm just going to kind of go around the edges of it and kind of bend the the edges of it down a little bit. Then hammer down just a little bit more. Okay, I've got the new gear here. And I'm going to go ahead and lube this up really well with the um, Super Lube. Get some on the bottom here. Get some around on this top edge right here. Just a thin coating. And then I want to put a little bit on the, the teeth as well. Just, a, just around here. And then this part is just going to fit right in here, like that. And make sure it's all snug down in there, like that. Okay, I've got the little plate here, and I can go ahead and put a little bit of uh, super lube on this if I want. And this is going to, it's going to set down on there like that. Flip this over. Install the two new screws that came with the uh, the kit. And there, all done. 
That looks great. Well, I hope you found this video useful or at least interesting. If you did, please click the like button. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the big uh, subscribe button here and uh, you'll get uh, to see new videos as they come out. Anyway, thank you for watching.